All right, so tell it. Tell us about the movie. What what what's the movie and who's in it? So the film is called Killing Field. Uh, it's directed by James Cullen Bressac, who, as I said, is a director that I've worked with several times. Uh, it's produced by uh, uh, Randall Emmett, and it stars Bruce Willis and Chad Michael Murray. And we wow, dude! Yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. Uh, the whole thing takes place in uh, one location over the course of one day, and it's uh, a bunch of bad guys. And of course, Bruce and Chad are the good guys. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's funny. Um, having worked with this director before, I, I got the script. I was in a lot of the film, but my, my lines were pretty much um, relegated to yes, boss, no boss, that sort of stuff. But I knew, having worked with James before, that, you know, he's wonderful about letting me ad lib and, and stuff on the fly. So basically, uh, James graciously kind of allowed me to create a lot, a lot of my own dialogue. By the time, Steve, you know me, man, by the time the film was over, <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> Yeah, they're Amazing. like, who's it? Who's this third lead all of a sudden? Right, right, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. wait, I mean, dude, listen, let's not, let's not go past the fact that you worked with Bruce Willis and, this, you know, this guy's been a, an icon for so long. I mean, I love Bruce Willis. I used to love Moonlighting, loved all the Die Hard movies. I got to meet him at a Planet Hollywood opening in 1994. So it's like, you know, this guy's a staple of just action. So that, how was it? That, that's why I, I agreed to do the film. I mean, like I read the script and I really I didn't have a whole lot to do, but I was with Bruce a lot in it. And I was like, I'm, I'm just going to take this film and I'm going to figure out a way to kind of um, adapt and overcome so that I have some more stuff to do. He's great. You know, like Steve, you and I grew up with him. I mean, and you start thinking about all the films that he did Aside from Die Hard, I mean, Pulp Fiction, Fifth Element. I mean, oh, yeah. and, and, you know, and he's done other films, too, that are more, um, uh, less action. Like, I don't know if you saw Bandits with Billy Bob Thornton and, and Kate Blanchett, which is, you know, he's got tr tremendous uh, comedic instincts, obviously. Sure. Uh, it was a real honor. Well, yeah. I mean, in like The Sixth Sense. and Sixth Sense, like, right. Yeah, movies like that were, yeah, he, he's, he's kind of run the gamut. Like, for a while, I mean, he was... He, he was just the go-to guy for just about anything. Yeah. 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 Uh, you know, it was, uh, you know, he was really cool. Um, he was, he was very nice. He was a give, very giving actor. And, um, you That's know, nice. for about the first 30 seconds, it was one of those deals where I was like, eh, it's Bruce Willis. <laughs> <laughs> totally. <laughs> oh, okay, dude, you gotta, you know, you know what it reminded me of, Steve? Is, is it reminded me a lot of when I did Karate Kid 3 um, emotionally for that second because, um, you know, I had paid – to go get a ticket to watch the Karate Kid and the Karate Kid 2 in the theaters. And now, sure. you know, I am working with these guys and it was just, uh, took me a little beat there to, you know? Oh yeah, course. totally. I told, right. I was telling Bradford, I think last week when I did The Last Castle, I'm literally in the scene with Redford and I have my dialogue and in my head I go, that's Robert Redford. That's Robert Redford. That's Robert Redford. Right, right. I, I suck as an actor. That's Robert hey, Redford. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> First of all, you, you absolutely do not suck as an actor. Second of all, what about James Gandolfini, too? I mean, it's like... I know, I know, I know. Well, because my first scenes were actually with Redford. With Robert Redford. Yeah, so then I started working with Gandolfini after that. But, of course, you know, he's uh, awesome, too. But, you know, so, then, then you're like, yeah, this is the Sopranos guy. This is the right. Sopranos guy. Go ahead, Brad. When, when, when were you filming this? Um... I filmed this, uh, I think I got there like March 11th or something. And I, I was of 2020. There. Oh yeah. I just did this. No, 2021. Oh, oh, 20, oh, oh, okay. oh, it's not coming out anytime soon. You just finished it. I just finished it. Yeah. I mean, my guess oh. is. I wasn't months. sure if this was coming out, like coming out now, or oh. if you had just done it. Okay. All right. No, All right. I just, I just, you did. just did. Okay. So Puerto, Puerto Rico, what's Puerto Rico like They're this time of year? That. They are doing back to back to back to back big films in Puerto Rico. They just did oh, one really? with Europe. They just did one with Mel Gibson before that. Yeah, because Puerto Rico has an insane tax break for production. I think Good for you, them. I think you get something in the neighborhood of forty percent back on every dollar. That's amazing. Whoa. Good for them. Good for so, them. Yeah, our crew, our crew, which was almost you know almost exclusively Puerto Rican local people, extremely professional. Um, I mean. Yeah, this, uh, you know, this is one of those deals where I think it's one of the biggest film that I've done since Karate Kid 3. You know, you walk on the set and it's like, wow, this is like a real film. There's cranes and jibs. and So uh, any any idea when this the Bruce Willis movie comes out and is it is it theaters? I, I, is it streaming? 
<laughs> That's the thing. I don't know. I mean, if I had to guess, I'm going to guess it's streaming because I think the business model now, uh, it just makes more sense where you've got people at home. That's my guess. Sure. Um, but a lot of times they do these films that uh, they wind up streaming domestically in North America and then they put them out for some kind of a release in Europe and some of the, the other countries. So I really don't know. I, I, I heard through the grapevine that they had to deliver the film in like two months. So oh, wow. my, yeah, my guess is they deliver the film in two months and probably take another eight weeks to market it. So that's why I figure probably four months. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel.